I recently read the book, The Upside of Stress, Why Stress is Good for You and How to Get Good at It by author Kelly McGonigal. Kelly is a professor at Stanford University. For years, she told her students that stress was something to be avoided. The research showed this too, that stress makes you sick. It increases your risk for depression and heart disease. She herself tried to avoid stress whenever possible. She says, I turned stress into the enemy and I wasn't alone. I was just one of many psychologists, doctors, and scientists crusading against stress. But that all changed when she started to look at the recent science on stress. What she found in hundreds of studies is that stress is destructive until the moment we believe it isn't. Changing the way you think about stress changes the effect stress has on your body. Kelly says, the best way to manage stress isn't to reduce it or avoid it, but rather to rethink and even embrace it. The new science shows that changing your mind about stress can make you healthier and happier. A study from Columbia University in 2014 had half the participants watch a video that explained that stress is enhancing. It was a three minute video that opened with, most people think that stress is negative, but actually research shows that stress is enhancing. The video went on to describe how stress can improve performance. The other half of participants watched a video that said, most people know that stress is negative, but research shows that it's even more debilitating than you expect. The video went on to describe that stress is harmful for performance. Both videos cited real research, but the participants that watched the stress is enhancing video had significantly better results in a job interview that followed. And you may think, well, that's interesting, but it's probably just a neat mental trick. But the researchers of this study took saliva samples of the participants and found that those that adopted the stress as enhancing mindset had a different chemical reaction in their body. More specifically, those that saw stress as enhancing released a chemical in their body called DHEA. Kelly says, DHEA is a neurosteroid, which is exactly what it sounds like, a hormone that helps your brain grow. In the same way that testosterone helps your body grow stronger from physical exercise, DHEA helps your brain grow stronger from stressful experiences. It also counters some of the effects of cortisol. For example, DHEA speeds up wound repair and enhances immune function. A 2004 study observed military survival training and found that those who released more DHEA were found to have greater focus, less dissociation, and superior problem-solving skills, as well as fewer post-traumatic stress symptoms. Another powerful chemical that is released when we're stressed is oxytocin. Now, oxytocin is known as the cuddle hormone because you release it when you hug someone. But Kelly says that Elevated levels of oxytocin make you want to connect with others. It makes your brain better able to notice and understand what other people are thinking and feeling. When the hormone oxytocin is released into our body, it actually strengthens our heart and widens our blood vessels. This allows more blood to flow to vital organs like our brain. Typically, no one talks about oxytocin being released when stressed because it's overshadowed by the effects of cortisol and adrenaline on our body, which is damaging over time. But recall that adopting a stress is enhancing mindset releases DHEA that counteracts those harmful chemicals. So in a sense, by simply adjusting your mindset, seeing stress in a different way, you can give yourself near superhuman abilities. So the next time you feel stress coming on, visualize the helpful hormones, DHEA and oxytocin coursing through your body. Think to yourself, this is my body giving me the ability to learn and perform at a higher level. The DHEA is actually helping me learn faster and grow new connections in my brain. Or you could think, this stress is giving me the courage to ask for help and feel more connected to others with the release of oxytocin. I leave you with one final quote from the book. Kelly says the latest science reveals that stress can make you smarter, stronger, and more successful. It helps you learn and grow. It can even inspire courage and compassion. So seeing stress as enhancing gives you a biological advantage for boosting your performance and productivity. That was a core message that I gathered from Kelly's book. If you would like to read more about the fascinating studies and stories behind how stress can actually enhance your performance, I encourage you to get Kelly's book. If you would like a one-page PDF summary of the other insights that I gathered from Kelly's book, just click the link below and I'd be happy to email it to you. If you already subscribe to the free Productivity Game newsletter, this PDF is already in your inbox. Thanks for watching.